last four years, Glen Hopkins CMA has been doing quite a lot of work in the Merai River, particularly through the Warrnambool Reach. It's been a fantastic opportunity to come through and clean up some of the woody weeds, do a lot of reveg, which has been really valuable, and introduce some woody habitat back into the river for fish. It's a massive undertaking through an urban setting and it really can't be done without a lot of partners being on board. The Ganol Copkin CMA instigated the Merai Alliance, so we realised we couldn't restore the Merai River by ourselves, so we've collaborated with local community groups and agencies so we can pull together for the benefit of the whole community. The future health of Merai with this new focus on the urban area, I think it's vastly going to improve the health. Where you've got a, currently a cleared floodplain that was agricultural land, with the new developments, that's going to be revegetated back to a more natural state. So the health of the urban reach is actually going to improve. And with all the interventions they're doing with in-stream habitat as well, it's going to make a real difference. It's in this urban setting, so we've got really great opportunity for people that live close by or can connect to the river in a way that might not have been done in the past. So the work that's been done through the Alliance and the partners is really important work. It's really bringing to life the Merai River and exposing what a beautiful asset it is for people and also how we can protect it into the future as well. It's a very popular recreational space, but of course it's also a, a really important biodiversity space. Different groups will often and perhaps always have different visions of what they would like to achieve, but there's always a middle ground as well. And so we are very happy to work to find the middle ground with other organisations and to work with them to achieve the results that we all want. Individually on our own, we're only doing very small projects, so maybe 100 metres or so of bank if we could afford that, depending on what funding we got. One area was just around the corner here on the bank. We took out quite a bit of woody weed and suddenly fishermen came in and started using the banks. And then the CMA got involved and went, OK, let's look at fish hotels because it is an area that a lot of people fish on. Without that sort of collaboration and talk, we just don't get as much done. We don't think of the bigger picture sometimes. And it really helps that we work together and we're able to apply for grants and undertake projects together and it just really aligns what we're all trying to achieve and the best outcomes for the Merai. Mm -hmm.